Yo ho and welcome back to another review for Sun Gatsuno Lion season number two and yes episode 12 last week we had a break because New Year and I think there was maybe a recap episode but yeah but this show is back and boy shit went down the line in this episode we saw some thing really ugly and it was portrayed in a fantastic way as always. Seriously, Studio Shaft is one of those animation studios. They can do literally everything and it will be perfect. So yeah. But in this episode, stuff was smithing in class, the chalk or the hang up with the timeline from the homeroom teacher and she started to panic. She lost weight, she looked terrible. You really saw that in a physical sense she was getting... Yeah, she was in a really bad state and even Ina noticed it that she lost quite a bit of weight and we saw it as well and the way she was reacting and even though she knew that bullying was actually going on she ignored it to the point that she couldn't do anything and basically she was not able to deal with it emotionally as well because by the end of the episode, uh, in the middle of the episode, by the end of that chapter, Black Mist, she collapsed. And yeah, kind of funny though, because it was then said that she did not return to school because anxiety. So. There was then a new teacher who is now in charge of two classes. And boy, that man, he's the teacher that everyone deserves. And then we get to the point where the parent, teacher and child meeting. And Takagi's mother, well, damn, sometimes, you know, you are just like, damn. I wish I could throw my punch in her face. Straight up, a straight line, a good right. But yeah, that's what I really wanted to do. Same for Takagi. And her mother was going on against Akari with, well, yeah, my daughter said that your sister uh, spreading the rumor that she is a thief? Well, no, she did not. Obviously, the daughter was lying, and everyone knew. And then she was like, "And if your your sister says that my daughter is a bully, then where's the proof?" And then there was a golden line. The teacher. Because Akari, she couldn't say anything and Hina took her away. They went going to the nurse room and to calm her down a bit. And then the teacher was there. And then he talked with the mother. And he was like, yeah, you know what? You're right, there's no proof. It's a fact. And then he was going on about why there is no proof. Which was even better because he was basically like well you know there's no proof because the only one who knows that bullying is going on is well the victim why because if everyone else says something they are the next target that's a fact and this is what happened so the teacher knows what is going on, he also knows who the bully is and who's the victim. And Takagi's mother, she was freaking out and being like a mother believing in daughter, that's fine and good, but you really have to 
open your eyes as well. So you know, right? And I can really see that the teacher is going to... is... well... going to annoy the hell out of the bully girl until she says something about it, what's going on, and... Yeah, that's just fantastic. Seriously, the teacher is... He's pure gold, man. He, th this teacher is fantastic. Man. And it would be hilarious if that teacher knows Ray's former homeroom teacher. Because both of them... To be honest, I really see that both of them are from the same kind of place in terms of personality, straightforward, knowing what the hell is going on, and yeah. But the teacher, he was going on with the bullying, and when he said that, well, yeah, there's no proof, but for me, it's proof enough that she said she's bullied. Because no one else is going to say anything because everyone is, well, scared like a little kid that they are the next target. So yeah, and I really like how the teacher is just going on about it and... And I'm really looking forward to see him doing or to see what he will do next. Also, when he entered the class and said that he's now in charge of them, and the line he delivered it was the first, like, all right, I'm here and I'm going to deal with all that shit that was ignored by the actual homeroom teacher. And then he was like, yeah, I know that here was going something on with the bullying, to the point that someone transferred to another school. Yeah, and you know what? It's basically that 38 out of 38 kids, everyone didn't say anything except a certain person. So yeah, but man, this homeroom teacher, it, he's fantastic and I'm really looking forward to see how he will deal with it. Oh, and by the way, the dream Akari had with about her mother. Man, I really want to just hug her all day long and tell her that she's doing a great job. But yeah, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and I hope I will see you guys next time as well. See ya and have a good evening.